Okay, here's the first code demo from my series on Web Application Factory integration testing. If you're not sure what that is and you want to hear more about it, check out the previous video in this series, and that'll set up all the stuff you need to know. Anyway, let's get into the code. So here's our solution for the sample application. I've got the tests and the code separated into separate folders. Let's open up the source folder. This is the code for the application. Basically, the part of the application that we'd theoretically deploy to a server somewhere. There are two projects. The API project is a .NET Core class library, and the web project is an ASP MVC application. The first part of this demo will be for the home page. We'll be adding some integration tests for the home index CSHTML page and the home controller class. In the API project, I've already implemented some functionality that we'll work with later on in the demo. And then at the bottom of the solution, you see the two test projects. The unit tests are for testing things at the API level, basically newing up classes from the X unit tests and directly exercising the logic and memory. The idea with a unit test is that you can test them in isolation without having to spin up the entire application and make it run. Since unit tests have a different, for lack of a better word, life cycle than integration tests, I try to keep them separated. And that's why there's this second project called integration test. This is the project we'll be focusing on in this demo. Before we dive into writing the test code, let me show you quickly what the running website looks like. Here's the home page for our site. It's called cool or not cool. And well, the idea is pretty dumb. The whole idea is going to be making a decision about whether something is cool or not cool. I'll talk you through how I make that decision later, but for now, here's our basic home page. So let's create our first integration test with Web Application Factory and test that home page. We'll come over to the integration test project, right click, go down to the add menu, and then we'll choose add class. And we'll create a class called home controller fixture. Click add, and here's our new class. The first thing I'm going to do is change the visibility on the class to be public instead of internal. And then in this class, I'll create our test method. I'll call the method index contains hello world. And as you can guess from the method name, I want to add some functionality to the home page where it says the words hello world, and we're going to verify that that's working by using our integration test. Using a keyboard shortcut that I've created, I'm going to add some comments to this test. A range is the setup of the test. Act is where we'll call the operation that we want to validate. And assert is where we actually do the validation of the result. The first step will be creating an instance of Web Application Factory. Web Application Factory spins up our application in memory and gets it ready for us to call. It takes a generic argument that tells the factory how to reference the web application. Right now I'm trying to use a class named Startup and it's not found. I'll discuss that in a moment. The next bit of code is to create an instance of the C-sharp HTTP client class. When it starts up your application, the Web Application Factory does some magic to bring up your application. The idea is that it starts your application in memory without needing to worry about network ports and IP addresses and DNS details. This factory.createClient method gets us an instance of the HTTP client class that auto-magically knows how to talk to our web application in memory. It's pretty slick, and it makes it a whole lot easier to write tests against your app. Next, I'll write the ACT code. I'll make a call using the HTTP client to bring back the default page, the root page on of our application, and get the response. What's happening with that line is that the client makes an HTTP GET call to the application. This would be the equivalent of opening a browser and going the main page of the site. The response is, well, the data that comes back from the call to the server. And now the code for the assert. First I'll check that the response isn't null. Then I'll read the content of the response into a string, and then I'll do an assert contains call to verify that the string hello world appears in the returned content. And then one last assertion. This is a check that I like to add to all of my web application factory tests. Basically, I want to verify that the response from the server was a success response. For y'all nerds out there, that'd be something like an HTTP 200 response code. So that's the basic structure of the test, but it's not going to compile because of this startup thing here. Let me give you a little background about what's going on with that missing class before I show you how to fix it. Quick history lesson. A couple years back, the c -sharp language got this concept of top-level statements. Without getting into the weeds of why that change was introduced, I'll just say that it gave c -sharp a way to simplify a lot of stuff. 
And one of the things it simplified was the structure of ASP.NET MVC and Web API projects. One of the simplifications was to stop creating a class in the web project called startup.cs. And that's why we're getting this compile error here for the factory. When you create a web project, you have the option to create the project in the old way or the new way. The default is to create a project that creates a simplified structure. For example, if you went to the command line and just typed in .NET new MVC, you wouldn't get a startup.cs file. And if I open up the web project, well, behold the complete lack of any startup.cs file. Instead, you just get program.cs. Here's the program.cs file. If you're familiar with the old style web projects, the startup file was for all of, well, most of, your app configuration. Program.cs was the entry point for the overall application, and then it referenced startup for the rest. In the new format projects, the program and the startup functionality gets merged. This way is certainly more straightforward, especially if you're new to ASP.NET. But for the purposes of the web application factory, this is kind of annoying because we don't have a really great way to point to our app. I know what you're thinking. Why not just refer to program.cs? The answer is you can't because reasons. So we'll need a class that we can reference as an entry point. This is really simple and probably just a tiny bit hacky. But what we'll do is just add an empty class to the root of our app. I'll call it just an empty class.cs. Create that class, and yep, that's it. We're just going to leave it empty. And now that we have this class, we can go fix the test code. Come back over to the Home Controller Fixture class. Go to the Web Application Factory. And here's where we're referencing that non existent startup class. As a reminder, if you're using the old format project that has the startup, then you're totally fine. Just keep on using it. Anyway, change this to refer to just an empty class. We'll need to add a using statement to refer to it. Add that using statement, and now this code should compile. Press Alt-BB to run the compile for the solution. And it compiles. Awesome. Let's run the tests. I'll come over here and open up my Test Explorer window. I'll pin it open. Then I'll expand the integration tests. And, gah, where's my new test? Meh. I literally always do this. Seriously, always. I always forget to add the fact attribute to the test code. I'll add that attribute and then the test shows up in the test explorer. And now we've got the test in the test explorer. Right click on the test to bring up the context menu. Choose the run option from the menu. The test runs and the test fails. And we're failing on the check for hello world. That's line 30 in the test class. This test failure makes sense because, well, we haven't added that to the home page yet. So let's go add it in now. Open up the index.cshtml file. And let's add a paragraph with the phrase, hello world. Save that change. And now we can go back and run the test again. This time I'll run all the tests using the run all tests button. The tests run. And this time they pass. Hooray. That's our first integration test using Web Application Factory. So that's the first part of the demo. In the next part, I'll show you how to use a test to check for a problem that I know that I run into all the time in my apps, dependency injection misconfigurations. Stay tuned.